wonderful things, spinning tops. These are the ancient toys. These are the toys that people have had from the year uh, dot. This is um, the Pitt Rivers Museum in, in Oxford, 2,000 years old, allegedly, some of these, these tops. So everybody's been, you know, not just go back in time, but go all over the world, Amazon jungle, some of these have come from, and so on. And there's a lot of basic, ordinary physics you can get from a spinning top. A top spins for a long time. Think of, you know, we spend a long time doing frictionless motion in a straight line. Why not do it with tops? Because they do last a long time. Here's a little exercise for you. Write down somewhere, ordinary spinning top, right? Um, and uh, this is just to start it, so I can start it reliably. Having said that, I'll probably drop it or something. But, um, write down how many seconds this top's going to spin for. There's no extra tricks, there's no electronics in, it's just a basic spinning top, slightly extra mass around the outside, decent shape, egg shape. How long? Let's write it down. This is just for your own satisfaction. 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. And we'll do something else while we're waiting. <laughs> so that's not half an hour. One of these at, um, at Oxford, they claim spins for 24 hours. But so there, well, we'll talk about something else. Um, so go on. So spinning tops, think about that. We, there, are, there are long, there's a new executive toy, um, this quark thing, which instead of having Newton's cradles, businessmen apparently now um, buy expensive tops with sort of hard points and so on. And that will spin for quite a while. And then instead of doing their Newton's cradle while they're doing their sums, they actually spin tops and watch them spin. Um, so they do spin for quite a long time. How many seconds have we got? I just forgot to time it, isn't that dreadful? Uh, 120. 120. Look, it's, it's amazing. They do call tops amazing. You know, every one you buy in, in the shop, you see, amazing top. This one is labelled amazing top. Appears to defy gravity. Oh, there we go. Defies physics. Defies something else. Defies logic, it says on the panel. It's good, the extra bits. So you can do this all from an energy point of view. Um, this is called topnosis. And if you, oops, you spin it, when you're nervous, you can't do these things, and I am nervous. So I can keep that going by just tilting the tray. And apparently the world record for this is 2 hours and 52 minutes and 8 seconds, which I think whoever did it died of boredom, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that. And then finally, last but not least, we have the tippy top, the famous tippy top that people have had around. There's um, Paulie and uh, Niels Bohr amazed at the tippy top, a top with a round bottom. Um, and I mean, your grandma had one of these. Um, you spin it, and up oh, it goes, right? And there are some lovely ones. Um, I use a guy in, uh, in Rotterdam, and he produces some beautiful uh, tippy tops. Um, you need the center of mass to lower down. Now, I've actually as well got a tiny one. I've got the smallest one in the world. Well, the smallest one in my box. <laughs> tippy top there. See it? Now you see it, now you don't. And that, well, that really works, but I'm not, I'm not going to lose it. <laughs> With a tippy top, if you think about it, click next. Think of, the, think of all the things you could discuss with it, apart from observing. It spins that way around, looking from above, it's spinning clockwise, and then it turns upside down, and it's still spinning clockwise. What does that mean? It means that the top must have stopped spinning, because it's going that way, and then it's going that way, which is the opposite way. And the top gets to the, this hor roughly horizontal, it's not quite horizontal, the horizontal position, and the, all the angular momentum is transferred into the spin of the top bodily, if I can put it like that, bodily horizontally. Then it flips up. The center of mass has been raised, so it's got extra potential energy, so it's actually spinning slightly slower at the top when it's upside down, right? So if it's spinning slow, more slowly, there must have been a couple. There has to be a couple if you're going to lose angular momentum, which is in the friction 
of the, of, the, of the bottom of the base, which is rounded, you do get an extra couple with a rounded bottomed base. Rounded bottom based tops, which <coughs> actually, that's, that top, when it tries to fall over, will precess and go round and round. We're getting into higher you know, university physics. But this top has a round bottom, right? Like some of us here. And therefore, what happens is, actually, if it tries to fall over, it writes itself. Now, uh, it's really clever. I prefer you to say, this is clever physics, not this is magic physics. Because as those of you who have grandchildren, like me, I was watching Nina and the what are neurons, neurons the other week. <laughs> and she was really very good because she finished her little thing by saying, it's not magic, it's science. <laughs> and I thought, well, to, to get four-year-olds and three-year-olds to say it's not magic, it's science, that to me was achievement. So well done, Nina. And uh, thank you for listening to those. I hope there's a few ideas in there.